what we're going to do today is have a look at how we're going to install an irrigation system and uh, we're using this uh, irrigation unit uh, because it's solar powered and it's nice to be sustainable and it's that sort of permaculture feel about what we're doing on the allotment so uh, we'll get started uh, so with this uh, glass house there's one or two issues as you can see there's the glass house the sun obviously is coming it's actually nearly 12 o'clock so it's due south and there's a big plum tree there there's a big cherry tree there and as we pan round you can see that there's a hazel tree there so we're not getting a lot of light so I can't put it on the lower end of the glass so what I'm going to do I'm going to attach it to this end so with this particular system uh, the way it works is you can't go more than two meters higher than the water butt and so the water butts over the other side of the glass house so we're just going to drill a hole here ream it out a little bit that's got that we'll get quite a lot of light here especially this time of the year as the sun's a bit higher in the horizon it will start in the east come round south west so we will get uh, a good amount of light so I'm just going to pop that into there and pop this on that's it. so that's our solar panel already catching some sun and now what we'll do is we'll rig up the connections so it's linked to the uh, the water butt so we're going to put a pipe to the water butt we're going to put these sensors into the water butt as well so that they sense if the water level drops it switches the unit off so you don't damage the unit so they're very important to put the sensors in and then there'll be the return pipe which goes along uh, a main one to feed the irrigation to the plants and then there'll be laterals off that for each potted plant is we've pushed in the inlet uh, it's actually on a there's a on the right hand side of the unit nearest this nearest the end it's got an I it looks a bit like an I or an L and you push it in there and the outlet is on the other side marked O so we push that in we've taken it through we've actually decided to drill through the side of this uh, very thin polycarbonate take it across the shelf and then as you can see it comes out here and we are certainly below uh, we're down to within about 10-15 centimeters of the base and what we've done is we've put a filter on the end of it to filter out any rubbish and that so that will go in um, but just above it I'm just going to tape the sensor and what the sensor is for is if there's a water shortage the sensor will switch the pump off and stop the pump getting damaged okay so what I'm going to do just a little bit of uh, gaffer tape and we'll just run that round and then that will just cut that pump off if there's any any problems there so what we're going to do now is to put our outlet into the control panel take it into our glass house and then we can start setting it all up for each of the plants so i'm just going to push that into the outlet it needs to go in about five millimeters so we've got to really make sure you can put a mark on the outside if you want to to make sure it goes in five and then i'll just slide that through into my glass house and that's all now set up and obviously there are settings on it but we'll worry about that later we'll just get it all set up so what I'm doing now I'm just having a look and measuring the distance between each of the plants and I'm just cutting my tube you could use secateurs on this um, which would do the job quite nicely so I'm just having a look at the distance and you just have to cut yourself a load of kind of small tubes and these are all going to be have little T pieces together so we'll cut the tubes all like that okay, and then once you've done those you're also going to need some little ones to come off the T pieces linking from there up to your plants so we've got to cut those as well so the one 
Okay, from there, coming up to there. Give it a little bit more, just allows a little bit of flexibility. And the other one, the next couple are going to be the same length, so we can measure off that. Cut. T pieces, and all they're going to do is they just push in, it's just all nice and straightforward push. That'll push to the other one, and then we'll link it up to the one coming down. So that's nice, and that just goes in there like that, just push it in. And so that's going to link to that one, and then the one here is going to link the other way. So you've got your T. So they just push together. And then, of course, to take it to your next one, we just keep adding T's. So another T, and pop that one in there. Pop that one in there, and on we go all the way across. And then once you've teed them that way, obviously you're going to need a feed for your plants. So this is where you, you push the other one in, which will go to your plant, which is going to drip water to your plant. And what you'll do is you'll stick a dripper on the end, so the dripper just pushes onto the tee. And then that will clip onto your little stick and that will just pop down in. Actually just clip that in a bit tighter so it doesn't move around. And that's just going to drip water into there. And the same again all the way down. So we just need to add those all together. So again, pop that into the T, add the dripper. Now, if you do it on a warm day, actually, the plastic has warmed up quite nicely, so they go on quite easily. Push it as pretty much as far as it'll go. Pop that in, just down to sort of about the soil level, just above the soil level. Not actually on in the soil because it might they might block the dripper up, and then uh, we'll just carry on. Now, just potted up some peppers, some cayenne peppers, and uh, they'll get a little bit of water. Now we put the last one on is to put the jam jar there. And that's just going to check. It's just I like to see just how much water is coming out to get a bit of a gauge on whether we got the right setting or not. So I'm just going to pop that in there, and then we'll know how much water has been delivered to each of the plants. Okay. So we're going to try and switch it on and see what happens. Right here, you've got uh, various settings. Obviously, on the first one, that's a low setting because where you can hear it's already beginning to fire up. Now, occasionally you do get a bit of an airlock inside them and you have to just get a syringe full of water and squirt it through. But I'm hoping that this will work without that. So I'm going to set it on about, uh, I set it on about the mid range. If I had any more pots, I'd have to set it right to the maximum. So we'll go and have a look to see what that's delivering. Um, but it's all set up now and hopefully it's starting to deliver some water. Let's go and have a look. So it's starting to drip away, it's just got to fill up all the... Yeah, they're dripping nicely. It'll just go around. So what you can do on the end one here is we'll have a look and see over a period of time how much water that delivers. That's set, uh, just putting in a little irrigation system. We'll have a look at one or two alternative irrigation systems as well, like the ones you can just plug into your outside tap. Uh, like hose lock do and that's another way of doing it it switches on it allows a valve allows the water through uh, to feed your plants that way um, so hopefully now this is set up that's going to save us a lot of to and throwing to the glass houses to water every day so uh, there you go irrigation